I love cooking with pork because it's so versatile. You can braise it, sear it, grill it. It does very well with imparting flavors. You can get all kinds of different textures. Braised pork belly can be nice and soft. You can braise cushion or shoulder and get this like meaty texture but still melts in your mouth. I think it's one of the most versatile cooking ingredients out there. This is my pork riette tartine. I take the Chairman Reserve pork cushion and pork belly and I braise it low and slow with some cold brew that we make in-house. Uh, we just braise that till it's super tender and fall apart. The pork cushion adds some backbone to the riette so there's some nice meatiness and texture to counteract with the fat of the pork belly. Then we whip it with shallots and whole grain mustard, lemon, a little bit of chili flake. And then we serve that on top of a house-made toasted sourdough, pickled green strawberries, a little bit of mustard frill, and then a bacon crumble or something that I like to call the ultimate bacon bits. I love this tartine because it's not the typical riette that's used. And I love the flavor that gets added using cold brew to braise it. it creates a really umami rich flavor mixed into there. This is the pork shank adobo. I take the Chairman Reserve pork shank and once I debone it, I trim it down and I braise it in a mixture of soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, garlic, a little bit of chili. To pair with this pork shank, I made a garlic fried rice, taking Calrose rice that was cooked and then dried overnight, fried that in a little bit of olive oil. This is an ode to my grandmother. She was born in Manila, came to the United States, and uh, one of the things I miss the most about her is her making chicken adobo and pork adobo for us. One of those childhood memories, you know, the few times I was able to have it with her, that always stuck with me and I always try to pay tribute to that in my cooking in some way, shape, or form. This is my slow cooked pork cushion. I take the Chairman Reserve pork cushion, I trim it down so that it's more uniform, and then I sous vide it overnight. And then I take it, sear it until it's crispy, baste it with some butter, garlic, and thyme, make sure that the skin's nice and crispy and aromatic. Served with some white beans, English peas, and Parmesan. Take those English peas, make like a pesto out of it, and then use that pesto to coat the beans as well as to mix them with the ham broth. I love cooking with pork because it's so versatile. You can braise it, sear it, grill it. It does very well with imparting flavors, but once you slow cook it, it has that meaty texture, but also has those like real fat, fatty layers in between it. I think the pork cushion is a really underutilized cut of meat that a lot of chefs don't use, or maybe they just don't know about. It's not very common, but you can coax a lot of really cool flavors, a lot of really cool textures out of it. Take the Chairman Reserve pork cushion and slow braise it with barbecue sauce and aromatics. It adds a nice smokiness to the pork, really tenderizes it and gives it a nice richness and sweetness to it. Uh, make sure it's nice and glazed and I serve it with a soft uh, yellow corn polenta and all that is topped with a cornbread gremolata mixed in with green garlic from our farmer's market. Uh, all this works great together. It's a bit of an ode to a summer backyard barbecue, you know, taking pork ribs or barbecue sauce and serving it with grilled corn. Really light, summery, fun flavors. I take the Chairman Reserve pork shank and I sear it whole until it's nice and crispy and then I braise it with a mixture of spices and chilies. It's important to slowly braise this pork shank with the chili corral, sauces and spices so that it really infuses all the way to the bone and really helps to break down and be soft but yet chewy in the middle. I really want to do an ode to my grandmother on my mother's side. She used to make this version of this dish a lot growing up and it always reminded me of gathering around her dining room table with my cousins and my family and just eating this all together. So I take it out after it's been braised, pull it apart, add all the accoutrements and serve some tortillas on the side. And then just for families and friends just to dive in together and make their own tacos and just eat this thing all together. And you eat it with the pickled onions and serranos and jalapenos, a little bit of cotilla for some fattiness. Eating that on a fresh tortilla really just adds this real melt in your mouth, mouthfeel, and something that I believe is really reminiscent, at least of my childhood.